Hey everybody, my name is Chasey Poo, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the status of my channel related to YouTube and how YouTube has demonetized my content before and then said that they weren't going to do it again and then it just happened again this week. So let me give you a quick recap. Last year, a lot of things were happening on YouTube, especially related to LGBT content. For me personally, I got a strike on my account. On a video that was like six years old, it made absolutely no sense why there would be on my strike on my account. This had happened around the same time to two other trans YouTubers that I know, and it was just, why is this happening? It was, it was just ridiculous. At the same time, I posted my five-year post-op top surgery video, and that got demonetized the second I added the word trans in the title. And I'm not even joking with that. I did a little test, and I posted it on Twitter, and I was very angry because I did a test. Like, I literally removed the word trans from everything, and then each step, I would slowly add add words and it was still monetized in the second I added the word trans instantly demonetized. And around the same time, homophobic ads were being posted on my videos and a lot of other LGBT creators on YouTube. Like during Pride Month. What? So obviously, I made a big fit about this and I made a video, is my channel gonna get deleted? Because I was honestly scared that my channel was gonna get deleted. I'm getting a strike on a video that's really old and now all my videos with the word trans are being demonetized, like it made no sense to me. So I was really scared. And that video um, got some attention and people like Hank Green and Philip DeFranco mentioned it on YouTube and people were retweeting it. And I think that that got YouTube's attention because they contacted me, like YouTube literally called me. Long story short, I went to headquarters. I was assured that trans is not a trigger word that will mess up the algorithm and automatically demonetize content. I was assured that they, of course, want to help. And of course, they're very LGBT positive and they didn't do this on purpose and it was an accident and they're working on fixing it. It's to ensure that it doesn't happen again in the future. Well, why do you think I'm in front of the camera right now on your computer screen talking about this? Because it happened again. And I've been very busy lately, so I haven't made a fuss about this on Twitter and really talked about it because I just don't really have the energy right now because it's just, it keeps happening and I'm just exhausted. I'm so tired of talking about this, but if we stop talking about it, then YouTube or whoever is getting away with this is going to keep getting away with this. So the more we talk about it, the more action is going to happen. So what happened? Well, I posted my six years post-op video. I was like, hey, I wonder, I wonder. And um, I was pleasantly surprised when I posted it with the word trans and it was demonetized instantly. I was like, but didn't we just go through this? So time for another one of my tests. I decided to change the name of the file of the video, change the name of the thumbnail, change the name of the video, change the name of the tag, change the name of everything, remove any trace of trans any trace of trans. Guess what? I don't even think I need to tell you what happened because the second I added the word trans, demonetized. So I deleted it, re-uploaded it, deleted it, re-uploaded it, still the same thing, demonetized, demonetized, demonetized. And I was just in shock because I thought that YouTube had gotten their shit together. And look, I know people from YouTube are gonna be watching this video because I know I'm gonna get contacted by them because that has happened in the past. And I just wanna say, I know that YouTube is not doing this on purpose to purposefully target LGBT content, especially target my content when I'm talking about, you know, my trans experience. I know that. I know that they're not purposefully doing that. However, I do believe that YouTube has an agenda, all right? And they favor the advertisers kind of more than their content creators. So if an advertiser is like, I don't really want my content to be posted on stuff like this, YouTube is going to make sure that it doesn't end up on that content and demonetize that content instantly because then, you know, accidentally that content can't get on there. Also, can I just say like literally, for the last year I've just been exhausted by all of this, but like homophobic ads still been playing on videos of LGBT content creators, still. Still, is there no one flagging these videos? Is there nobody who's like, let me check out this commercial, this ad before we actually approve it to put it on our, I don't know. It's a lot of anger that I haven't really expressed in a long time. Um, I am just very disappointed. And you know, like when somebody says they're disappointed, sometimes it's worse than saying that they're mad at you. I'm just disappointed because I kind of felt like I was assured that things were gonna change. And unfortunately, the algorithm has still has still these like little things in there that just aren't fixed yet. YouTube is Google is a billion dollar company. 
I am so sure that they could hire a team of a thousand engineers to figure out how to just put something in the algorithm that says, hey, any trans content, we don't demonetize. Anyways, so my video for six years post-op was demonetized instantly. So what I did is I uh, clicked review right away and this was the day before the video even was posted. And sometimes they review it before it's posted, but it's very rare because you need to have at least a thousand views within the last seven days for them to review your video. And because the video wasn't even posted yet and had like literally no views, the chance of that being reviewed before I post it was very little. And as we all know, when a video comes out on YouTube right away, everyone gets the notification. I mean, they're supposed to, people still complain that they don't, but whatever. You're supposed to get the notification and then that's when people click on the video right away because instantly people go on it. So in the first couple of hours of a video coming out, that is the prime time for most of the views to go on the channel. And of course my videos all get demonetized before I even put the video on public. So long story short, it took them 11 hours for them to re-monetize my video. 11 hours. And that is the prime time for all the views. Now listen, I'm not saying this because like, I want money from the advertisers. Okay, look, I'm pissed because YouTube said they were gonna stop doing this and they're still doing it. But also when I tell you that my revenue has dropped 80%, I literally mean it because all of my videos are demonetized now, all of them. And it takes them hours, sometimes days for them to re-monetize the video. And by that point, everyone's already seen the video. So it just pisses me off that I'm not relying on YouTube as a main income and I've never relied on YouTube as a main income. I absolutely, I'm aware of that. It's a, it's a tricky place to be. However, when you have a specific amount of AdSense revenue coming in, and then all of a sudden it just kind of disappears because all of your videos are demonetized, you take a big hit and it really, really sucks. And I'm not the only one complaining about this, all right? People like What's the Safe Word have literally talked about how their revenue has gone down as well because their videos get demonetized. A lot of videos that mention sex ed and things like that obviously get demonetized. But the thing that just gets me is, yeah, whatever, all my videos where I review things and sure, they get age restricted, demonetized, whatever. I'm not even talking about that today. I'm literally talking about the videos where I'm I'm clothed, I'm talking in front of a cat wall, and I'm expressing myself. I'm talking about how, you know, I had surgery and how I feel six years later. I talk about being on hormones and I talk about how I feel. I talk about all my experiences as a trans person. And it seems that somehow there's like a word that I'm saying in the video or there's something the algorithm is picking up that is saying, no, we're gonna demonetize this. And again, I'm not the only one this is happening to. I'm just talking about it today because of my own personal experience of what happened to me this week with my six years post-op video. I'm just letting you know that because we're not really talking about it anymore, doesn't mean it's not happening. I think that a lot of us in the community who make content are just so exhausted from complaining about this stuff and nothing happening that for me personally, I'm like, it's not even worth it. Like literally, I haven't even posted about this on Twitter because I was, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm exhausted. It's exhausting to have a problem and be assured it's gonna be fixed and then have it again and again and again and again. And then it just keeps going and you just, I just wanna <sighs> scream. Also, I'm wearing my Protect Trans Youth shirt today specifically for this video because yes, all right, maybe this doesn't all connect but I'm connecting it in my brain. So because a lot of people have been complaining about how LGBT content is being demonetized, I think a lot of youth are kind of you know, they're on the internet. Youth are on the internet. They know what's going on. And in my opinion, the association of, oh, LGBT creators demonetized, demonetized because not good enough for advertisers. Maybe their message isn't good. Maybe I shouldn't watch LGBT creators. I feel like that gives you such an internal hate and internal homophobia and transphobia, biphobia and everything. And maybe I'm reaching, all right? But I'm just letting you know in my brain that unfortunately makes sense that if I was a kid and watching this content and a content creator that I loved was like, my videos keep getting demonetized. I would think, wait, is there something wrong with this? Should I not be watching this content? Am I even trans? Because if people on YouTube who are a billion dollar company who say they're LGBT positive, but then they're removing content and demonetizing it, maybe I shouldn't think about this. Maybe I shouldn't watch this content. Look, I'm an anxious person. I have anxiety, all right? And I always go to the worst case scenario. And I don't want to imagine youth watching these videos and thinking these things. And I'm not just talking about my content. Oh my God, I'm talking about all the LGBT creators out there who are getting demonetized still. Like, remember how we were having this exact conversation a year ago? Like, 
exactly the same conversation. Like, get your shit together, let's go. Who wants to bet this video is gonna get demonetized before I even post it? All right, thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're an LGBT creator, please let me know in the comments um, if you've been demonetized or age restricted or if something has happened to your channel. Channels have been like legit deleted and um, things have not really gotten better, unfortunately. I would love to um, talk to everybody that you know has dealt with something like this and kind of talk about different experiences and stuff because it is, ugh, like, I think you can tell I'm just so done. Unrelated to my channel and my content, anything like that, um, last week, YouTube refused to remove Steven Crowder, I think that's his name, um, his videos where he is literally harassing and being extremely racist and being extremely homophobic to a uh, gay activist online. And that's just so unacceptable. And I tweeted about it and YouTube got in contact with me and I'm just, they're saying that in their policies of harassment, this doesn't constitute it and people of all walks of life should be able to post online and we shouldn't silence everybody. But this is, this is disgusting language that could be very harmful for people. Like they, they, I don't, look, I'm gonna post the tweet about this so you can have a look because I don't wanna go more into it because it is just, it's a mess and it makes me so angry and I don't wanna start screaming right now. So thank you for watching. Well, I'll talk to you later. Hopefully my channel's still here and you know, hopefully monetized. Probably not though. All right, have a great week. Bye.